For almost two decades, cleric Muqtadr Sadra has played a pivotal role in Iraqi politics. Hailing from a prominent family of Shia clerics, he became a leading opponent of the US occupation following Saddam Hussein's removal. His militia, formerly known as the Mahdi Army, frequently fought US forces, and his political party, the Sandrus movement, is one of the largest in the Iraqi parliament. Over the years, he's gained a reputation as a kingmaker, frequently switching alliances, and it's been no different during Iraq's recent anti-government demonstrations. At times, Sadra's supporters have protected protesters from security forces and Iranian-backed militias, but the demonstrators are now denouncing Prime Minister-designate Mohammad Alawi, whose appointment Sadra supports. Last week, his followers attacked sit-ins, killing eight protesters in Najaf after Sadra called on them to weed out saboteurs and intruders. Today, we took to the streets and student demonstrations to denounce the inhumane acts that took place in Najaf. Protests have continued, bolstered by support from Iraq's highest Shia authority, Grand Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani. It's the security forces that must take responsibility for keeping the peace, protecting the protest squares and peaceful demonstrators and identifying attackers and rabble-rousers. At a time of transition in Iraq, with US forces possibly pulling out and widespread demonstrations, how much influence will Sadra have on the incoming government? And will he continue to shift allegiances? Adam Pletz, The Newsmakers.